Here's a recipe for thick and delicious chili. All right, let's get started. First, get your pan uh, nice and hot. Not too hot, but like more like a medium. Put some olive oil in there and go ahead and put some onions in there. You can put, uh, I put in here about a third of an onion. Dice it nicely and go ahead and get it sweated and mix it around. Once you've done that, the next thing you're gonna go ahead and do is once you've got it all sweat, just throw your hamburger right on top of about a pound of ground beef. Start mixing that around as well. Get that all mixed around. And then once it's done, it'll look like uh, pretty much this right here. See that? Everything's sweated and the meat's nice and cooked. So now the next thing to do is uh, add your uh, large can of tomatoes. This is a 24 ounce can of tomatoes here. Get that added and go ahead and mix it around again. And then of course you want to add baked uh, black beans. I like to add black beans. I'm adding two cans of black beans here. I like to add the black beans because they have more of a, a, a punch to them rather than just a regular kidney bean. They just taste a whole lot better. A lot more robust. Once again, you will mix it all around as well again. And you'll see how, it, how it's starting to mix together. Then I add about a, a teaspoon of cumin, a little bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of just regular pepper, just maybe a few shakes in there. Add about a, a tablespoon of salt. You can add a little less if you want. And I add about two tablespoons of chili powder. Mix it all together. Now you got all those ingredients incorporated. Now what we're gonna do is just add some water. We're gonna bring it up. And what we're gonna do after we bring it up with the water is we're gonna slowly cook it. We're gonna, we're gonna bring it to a boil coming up here. And, uh, oh, by the way, you're gonna add a little Tabasco sauce if you want. <laughs> we're gonna bring it to a boil here and uh, see how it's to a rolling boil. Then we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it around and then turn the heat down and get it to a simmer. The thing about chili is you're gonna have to keep mixing it so it doesn't burn. So just keep mixing it, keep it so it has a nice turnover on it and you're not getting one part that gets burnt and then you're tasting and it tastes burnt and then you're uh, tasting another part and it tastes good. You just keep mixing it and it'll be consistent. You'll start to notice the chili will get thicker. Look at this, and then it'll reduce, but it'll get thicker and all those flavors will, will melt together. And then, of course, I like my chili really thick here. It will thicken more as well once you uh, leave it out and put it in the fridge, so just realize that as well. But I like mine really thick in the offset. I can always add more water to it later if I want to just keep uh, working on it and eating it later. But here you go. This is the final product. Nice, thick chili. Look at that. Delicious. All right, well, don't forget to like and subscribe, and please share us on all of your social sites. We would greatly appreciate it. Thanks a lot. You have a great day. Bye.